Do you want a successful business? How many people talk about having a successful business, but only to find themselves out of business shortly thereafter? See, no one plans to have a failing business. Everyone plans for a successful business, but what separates the successful from the unsuccessful? My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design, and today I wanna share with you what you need to know to be successful in real estate and in business. There's a million things that you can know that determines whether a business is successful or not. But the one key thing that every business must know, including you if you're in real estate, and yes, that's your own business, you must know your numbers. Let me explain. What happens for most people is they start collecting income, right? They start getting sales or revenue, as they would call it. And all of a sudden, what happens is they have certain expenses that they gotta get pay, they pay out, right? For a lot of startup businesses, and we're not talking in the tech world, we're talking more small businesses that start to grow over time, but they don't really know even their numbers, their expenses. They don't know how much money they have coming in each month. They don't know how much their expenses are going out each month. And it's not about what you make. Please write this down. It's not about what you make. It's what you keep at the end of the day. Plus, one of the biggest things that I've found after coaching thousands of people in business is that they don't even know how much they make, therefore they don't even know how much money they gotta put away for taxes. And if they're not paying their quarterly taxes, they get hit with a fine and they don't know how much that fine is, and therefore they anticipate making a lot more than they actually do when it's all said and done. So if you're gonna be successful, you gotta know your numbers. Now, I know every business is different, right? And so if you think about your business and everything that's going on, kind of like a cockpit in an airplane, there's all these dials and gadgets and everything like that. And you gotta know what they all do and how they work together. But there's really only a handful that you really need to pay attention to on a consistent basis. So if you're in a startup phase of your business, revenue is a big one, right? You gotta make sure you have income, you have revenue to be able to pay your expenses, whether it's people, whether it's a facility, whether it's for products, whatever that might be. You gotta know your numbers for business to succeed. You gotta know how they all work together. And that's one of the biggest things that I find for people in business that fail is they just don't know what their, what their numbers are really. See, I remember many moons ago when I was in network marketing and I was in Amway for those of you that are wondering what network marketing company were you in? It was Amway. I was I love playing defense 90% of the time. Not really. But anyway, whenever I was meeting with people or networking with other people in different lines of sponsorship, you know, we used to have a conversation about each other's business and I could tell who was destined to grow and who was destined to fail. And it was very simple because I would ask them, you know, how many people do you have sponsored? How many people do you have in each leg? How much volume are you running? Those questions were asking their numbers. And when people would give me ballparks, I knew they weren't calculated. And I remember my upline taught me that I had to know my numbers at all times, right? And so I knew how many people I sponsored. I knew how much volume was running through that leg. I knew how many people were joining my business each month. And so I had to really know my numbers because then I could map out what it would take to get to that next level. See, when we're looking at real estate, what happens is most people, they wanna get in real estate, they wanna make passive income, they wanna create financial freedom. The only problem is, they the only thing they know is, how much money do I have in the bank? And some people, they don't even know that. But you gotta know what that is. Because when you go to jump into real estate, maybe you're looking to get in real estate for the first time, right? You don't own a home or you wanna a house hack or maybe you're in the spot where you wanna actually um, invest in a portfolio, right? Start building up, start a single family home and duplex, triplex, fourplex and apartments beyond. Right? You gotta know how much money you make on an annual basis. What do your taxes say? Do you do your taxes or do you have someone else do your taxes? Are you deducting a massive amount or are you not deducting so that you can be able to qualify for more? Most people don't understand that what the banks or most banks look at and the way they like to do their numbers is they like to look at how much money did you make over the last two years? And usually they take the average, right? If your income's growing each year, they're gonna take the average of that. But if your income drops, they're gonna take the lower amount. And they're gonna say, okay, great. You know, John made $120,000 last year. And so with that, you know, if we divide that by 12, 
he's making $10,000 a month. But what they do is they take your annual income and they times it by 0.4, uh, 0.43. So let me pull up my calculator here. So 120,000 times, if you guys wanna do this, 0.0443%, that's $5,160. That means you can make a payment of up to $5,160 for your home payment. Now, there's other calculations like you got your car payments or you have student loans or credit card payments or you know a HELOC or whatever it might be. They take all your expenses and then they deduct that. So say my mortgage is $2,000, they're gonna subtract $2,000, you're gonna get you know uh, $3,186. And so you could start to see how it goes down. So what happens for most people, they're like, oh, I wanna buy this house, or oh, I wanna go invest in this property, and they don't even know how much they can qualify for because they don't even know their debt to income ratio. They don't even know that stat that I've given them. And so what you wanna make sure is you gotta know that number. So if you have a $2,000 a month mortgage payment and you were able to pay $5,000 a month, the bank would loan you, that means if you have no other expenses, you have $3,000 you could take on a monthly basis to go ahead and invest in real estate. But most people, they don't even know that. So they're not even gonna be able to get in the game. Or they waste all this time because they go to the bank and they say, hey, how much can I qualify for? And they say zero. Or you can qualify for a $300 a month payment. And you're like, I don't, there's no real estate out there now. You can't even buy land for $300 a month, right? I don't even think you can get an RV for $300 a month. So anyway, you must know your numbers. If you don't know your numbers, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be shooting blindly in the wind. Number two is you're not gonna be able to make the precise calculations that you need to be able to strategically invest in creating your portfolio or your passive income. Or even more importantly, you won't know where your business is and what it needs to get to the next level. Do you invest in that coach or consultant or do you not? Because you, ha you, ha you don't have the money, right? Or do you inv invest in this software or this um, property or this material or this product to enhance your bottom line? And if you don't know whether you can afford it or not, if you have the money or not, or what implication that's gonna have for your business, if that's gonna take you down or it's gonna lift you up, you're not gonna get very far. You wanna take time and say, okay, are you in business or are you in real estate? Regardless, or maybe you're in both, but you gotta look at where are you in your business? I always, when I coach my clients, I always look at, I gotta know what are their monthly income? What's their monthly expenses? And then if they're looking to grow their business by how much? How much do they wanna grow that? And then we start to look at, okay, well, how many leads do you have coming in? And if they don't know, we gotta go get clear on that number and we may even need to increase that significantly to hit their goal. How many times are they getting on the phone with these leads, having a meaningful conversation with them, getting them booked on the calendar so that they can go deeper into finding out what are their needs. And then how many people did they close or serve? And that what's their closing percentage? Because once we know that, we can calculate, hey, if you wanna increase your income $40,000 and you have a 36% um, closing percentage, then all of a sudden we can do the math in order to say, okay, this is how many clients, and if you're getting two clients per month, this is how long it's gonna to take to achieve that goal, and we can map that out, and if we wanna go faster, further and faster, we know how to do that because we're clear on the numbers, right? And then also, we can also calculate each month how much profit are they making, so they know whether they're on track for their personal goals and their business goals or not. And if you're in real estate, you gotta know your finances first. And then you gotta know how to calculate the numbers for the investments that you wanna make. If you don't know that, you're just gonna be shooting blindly and I'm telling you, you are going to fail. Hands down, you need to know your numbers. And it's that simple, it's plain and simple. So with that, it's a pretty simple process, but it's a lot of work. So what I'm gonna ask from you, go get clear on your numbers. If you found value in this video, please hit that thumbs up button, comment below. Do you know your numbers in your business or your real estate or your personal finances? Do you know your numbers? I'd love to hear from you guys. And then with that, go ahead and click that subscribe button because we're coming out with three videos every week and 
at the time that I'm recording this video, next week we are going to start our relationship series because guess what? It's almost Valentine's Day, so I'm excited to tap into that because I want to bring my lovely and wonderful wife on here. She's way better looking than I am, although she and I do make a pretty darn good couple. So anyway, we have an incredible marriage. We want to share some of our advice, our tips, our tips secrets and what we do to have a thriving marriage. So with that, my name is Joe Moppa with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See ya.